beautiful collective welcome back guys let's get straight to your messages guys i want to thank you each and every one of you for all your beautiful comments your generosity thank you so very much everyone let's go collective energy Ooh, lady nada awaken to the acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance charity connect with heaven ask and you shall receive this is your dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness ascension Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is there. Saint Germain, karma is releasing. So you've released some karma and you're stepping into your dharma. This is beautiful energy. You have ascended one step at a time to the path to happiness. Okay. So there's no need to hurry the journey. Let's go, collective. Growth. <laughs> Peace. I love myself. This is you taking pride in your growth. The universe taking pride in you. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And this is being honest with oneself. Because you simply can't expect the truth from others. So you have to follow your own truth. Collective, please. Collective energy. Woo. This person wanted total control of you. It made them feel powerful to have that amount of control over you. What? Someone is taking advantage of the money that's been given to them, either by you or by the other. Yeah. Okay, so somebody is changing up here. Okay, so something is changing in that karmic relationship. boy this wasn't what they were hoping they were hoping that this they were hoping that this um karmic relationship was gonna live up to their expectations but it is not they're changing their mind about the karmic fear of losing his privileges now that could be financial privileges. Privileges can mean many things. Hmm. This karmic is keeping an eye on their phone. They were pretending they didn't want you.
So something's going on. This um, person doesn't, like they're doing a switch up. They're, I'm feeling an unstable energy. This person is in an unstable situation. They're unstable in their energy. Um, they've changed their mind about this karmic energy. They're changing their feelings toward the karmic. And I'm trying to figure out why. This karmic keeps going through their phone. They're triggered. This person was screwing around with your self-esteem, your self-worth. And they were looking for your insecurities so that they could trigger you into staying. This person did not want to lose you. And they figured by... If they could trigger your insecurities somehow, that you would somehow become desperate. And they could control you financially or control you emotionally or mentally. They're an attention seeker. You got that right. Playing hard to get here. Hmm. This person's getting a dose of their own damn medicine. That's what they're getting. Served up on a silver platter by yours truly, the universe. <laughs> Oh my God, nothing but head games here. So this person was starting fights with you so they could unite with that other energy, making you feel insecure, trying to trigger your insecurities, and they're still doing it. But the funny thing is they're getting a dose of their own medicine because this karmic is having an affair on them or has had an affair on them. And this karmic is serving them up a dose of their own medicine. Oh my goodness, what is going on? They hate. They don't want to choose. They're trying to make things right. But they were sharing energy. Everyone involved is experiencing energy drains. Try not to let this consume you. They're mad because they can't have you. Okay, so they're draining each other's energies. Everyone involves energies got drained. But they're still in it. You're out of it. You might be feeling the aftermath of it. But they're in it full-fledged. Yeah. They weren't purposely trying to hurt you either. They mistook lust for love. Too many games are being played. Wear protection. They were having some kind of an affair. And this person was testing you. It's 
trust issues are here. So they plan to keep you as plan B. Blocking you to hide you. Making sneaky getaways with someone else. You know, this could have been a long distance thing. Oh my God. So this person goes to you to stay with someone else. But something that gets brought up that's going to change everything. It's complicated. Can't let go. He's afraid that you're going to expose him. Or afraid that this karmic, this person's going through a draw, draws from pulling back from you. Everything is getting intense here. They're being influenced. Oh, Jesus. So this person's been gossiping about you to their friends saying, well, I still care about the collective. I still care. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? They've changed their mind. They changed their mind about you. It's like they were playing so many mind games. It's like... They were portraying you a certain way to other people. Portraying you as something you were not. Portraying you as desperate, like you'd be desperate without them. Um, but they're changing their mind about this karmic, and I want to find out why. Why is this person changing their mind about the karmic? Why are they changing their mind about the karmic? Why is this person switching up, changing their mind about the karmic? What's happened with the karmic? Why are they changing their mind about this person that they left the collective for? Or you walked away from them? Very defensive. Mm. They're trying to like ignore something the karmic said or have been ignoring the signs and the clues. So something happened when they were around friends. I don't think that this person's friends likes the karmic. There's a lot of gossip. Friends are gossiping about the karmic relationship. And they're pissed off about it. And like, this person's like, see, they thought that they were going to be this power couple, something like that, that they love this person. But something is changing. I'm trying to figure out what's changing here with this relationship. A child? Oh, jeez. Like this person saw happiness with you.
See, you're coming off confident. Uh, hang on. This is manipulation. They're getting advice from their family about the relationship and their family said to choose the karmic. Why? Yeah, the other lover. Hmm. Something is changing. They don't trust. This karmic is saying really hurtful things. They're being really, really mean, saying things publicly to humiliate this person. They're off balance. Your person's energy is off balance with the karmic. They're changing their mind about this karmic energy. Like they're putting on a facade. They are pretending that they're happy. They're pretending that all is good. Like they're putting on a front in front of family and their friends. It's a front. This karmic is saying mean, nasty things about you, and that's a turn off for this person. They're saying mean things uh, about this person's family and about their friends. They're coming off rude. Um, there was some public event that they had or some kind of get-together with family they just had or something. And the karmic has come off saying some pretty rude, nasty things to this person's family and to their friends. Uh oh and uh, first of all talking about you they're embarrassed Shh. this person doesn't want to tell you what they're going through this person isn't contacting you and they're not telling you what's really going on behind the closed doors here. See, when they first met, when the family and when this person first met the karmic, they thought that this karmic, that this person had made a good, wise choice for their life. They thought that this karmic was very loving, very nurturing, uh, that they would be a good choice. But that is not the case. They are starting to see the true colors of the karmic coming out. This is like... I, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius... Because this came out in the Sagittarius read. Or someone in their family is a Sagittarius. But they said something mean. And it's showing up as family. You could be a Sagittarius. But they have a Sagittarian in their family. That... 
this person, the karmic, is saying mean things about you and is saying mean things about their family. And it embarrasses this person um, publicly. Like, they're at some event, a get-together, a barbecue, some dinner, I don't know what. They got invited to someone's house that's in the masculine's family. They got invited to this get-together, and this karmic was saying really mean things, rude things, coming off. Uh, it embarrassed this person. Yeah, they were embarrassed. And also this person regrets their decision by walking away from you. So they're starting to see the other side of the karmic. And they don't want to fight and argue with the karmic. So they try to like ignore the karmic for like they, they're rude. Whoever this karmic is, they're rude. They come off arrogant and they say embarrassing things in public about like, I don't know if the karmic thinks they're superior like they've changed so this masculine is looking at security wanting to provide some kind of that's who they are they're the security the financial security and there is a Sagittarian here now either they're a Sag you're a Sag or one of these family members is a Sagittarius they have a Sag in their bloodline there could be several fire signs here See, they tried to brush it off as, oh, it was just a joke. They were just joking, something like that. But this karmic energy does not want any responsibilities. Like, they don't want to have any responsibilities. It's like your person doing everything i'm not trying to write them off as a saint do not misunderstand me they're no saint they were a cheater straight up mind game player they're getting a dose of their own medicine is what's going on so this karmic energy does not want any responsibilities they want your person to be in charge like they're in it for sex. And they're heavily burdened here. I'm telling you, they got troubles. They got deep depression here. So this person could have gone to this karmic energy because they were lonely. They're depressed. Your person's depressed. When they're alone... They are depressed. In front of family, they look like this facade. But they're depressed. Heavily. And what has ever happened is like, at this event, there was some event that took, recently took place that they had attended with this karmic and it was in front of their family. And this karmic started coming off very rude, arrogant, 
saying mean things at this event while your person was hiding it. But they got really depressed about this. They don't want to fight. They don't want to cause no trouble. And the last thing that this person at this point wants to do is burden you with their troubles. Because they got them. They're keeping it to themselves. But they're having disagreements with the karmic. And how rude they are. How embarrassed embarrassing there are and when this person's alone they still hurt uh, see because they don't they're staying because they don't want to hurt somebody's children they don't want to hurt the kids that are involved I'm sorry but that's true they don't want to abandon they don't want to abandon the kids that are involved in this relationship, whether they're theirs or not theirs. There's at least one they feel that they are the father of. But I don't, they, I don't understand this because it's almost like one child is abandoned. One of these children have been abandoned. Like, the karmic has sent them far away. I don't know what's going on. It's like the karmic does not want responsibilities, no responsibilities. Once they got your person hooked and figured they were into the money, It's like they abandoned a child. And that's when your person started um, changing their mind about this karmic. Like they have one child with them and one child got sent away. And that's what's making this person think. And they're having disagreements about the kids. See, this person was used to someone like you, who is loving, nurturing. You're very motherly or very affectionate. That's what they're thinking. They're like, wait a sec, you know? See, the karmic's like, well, we'll just pay, we'll pay someone, we'll pay somebody. And this is causing your person to think, well, you're the mother. Why aren't you raising your kids? Like, why would you do that? Why would you divide your own family? Why would you send one person away? So like, oh, we'll just pay someone. We'll pay someone. What? Yeah, we'll pay somebody. Sneaky. They're not... See, this is what is making your person change their mind about this energy. They're changing their mind. Like they won't listen to anybody. They won't listen to anyone's advice. So their friends and family are like giving advice. This is a nightmare. Like your person is stressed the hell out. Or maybe this other child, maybe it's a teenager or a adolescent it's like they are paying someone to look after one child while they have the other child and the reason they have the other child is because 
this masculine is likely the father of this child, at least they think they are, and wants to look after their own kid. So the karmic sends away the other child. It's an older child, like I said, maybe pre-teen or teen. So they send this child away because they figure that this child will get in the way of their relationship with the masculine. This is fucked up. Yeah, and the like, see, they're the father maybe of one child, so, but they're, they might be a complete arse, but, and playing mind games and being a player and all that, but this is confusing the hell out of this masculine. Like, they're playing the maternal role. This is weird. They don't think that was a fair judgment. That's why they're changing their mind. And they're going, oh my God, like, how do I explain this to my family and my friends? Well, this karmic might have two children, say, for example. Then they send one away? I'm going to pay someone else to look after this child? Because they don't want the responsibility of the child. Well, now, if they are the father, now they're really concerned. Well, what are they going to do with this child? See, this karmic is in it for self-gain. It's all about them. And that's what's going to end up causing the tower. Because subconsciously, something is working on the masculine's conscience. This is the masculine's conscience. Well, what kind of person is this karmic? See, it was all fine and dandy, having the sex, having the money. But now the karmic figures, well, I'm in. I got them to commit to me. We have a child together. I'm in, so now I don't have to uphold any of my duties, my responsibilities. This is working on the masculine's conscience. Their conscience is bothering them. And it's going to end up in a tower because... If this masculine, like they want, they're wishing and they're hoping to like have this family unit thing, but they are not going to have this family unit thing with the karmic because they were putting on a facade and now your person's conscience is bothering them. They're like, Okay, things are adding up. They're like, well, why are they dirting on you when you've done nothing to them? Why are they dirting on these friends and family members? Why can't they take any kind of advice? Why did they send their child away and keep one child? That's like pitting the children against each other. Maybe there's a father of one and a father of another, but they sent 
one child away. So everybody's at this public event or at a family party or a family get together. And this karmic starts beacon off in front of the family and their friends. And someone tried to like give some advice on maybe parenting or tried to give some advice. And the karmic just won't have nothing to do with it, won't hear anybody. This karmic isn't listening to anybody. And your person's conscious, this masculine has, has a conscience. It's like, well, why would you send one away when you got two? They're thinking that's not fair. That's not a good decision, a good judgment call. Why would you, they're slowly changing their mind about this person cheating. They're getting a dose of their own medicine is what they are getting. So maybe this karmic energy had an affair on them. And something came out at a family get-together. And then something else got brought up about the children. Well, why, why don't you bring, somebody might have said, why don't you bring your other child here? And they won't have nothing to do with it. And the reason why they don't want anything to do with that other child is because... That child is interfering. They got a parent. They don't want a parent. So now your person, who is the father of one, or at least thinks that they are, but there is some deception there too, is thinking, well, their conscience is bothering them. They're like, I'm going to be responsible. I feel responsible for what I did to the collective. I sold them down the road and stabbed them in the back. I go to this person who everybody thinks is so nice and so kind. And then you have a child with them or they get to know this person's children. And then they send one away. Dividing the siblings? How can that be good for either child? And if they had a karmic child, this is danger zone. Because they're not getting along. And all the responsibilities of parenting all the responsibilities like dishes, cleaning, cooking, doing things with the children is left to the father. Who may or may not even be the father because this person was juggling them. Somebody was cheating and they're denying it, but either or your person has taken on the role as father. And so what the fuck did this karmic is thinking? I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time to parent. I don't have time to do this. Let's just pay somebody. Let's just pay somebody to do it. So they sent a child away and are paying to have a child somewhere else that the karmic should be raising. And it's causing a division between the siblings. Like if you were the older kid or the younger kid, 
Like one gets sent away and the other gets to stay with mom? I cannot. That's pretty cold. That's pretty damn cold. But they don't want the responsibility of having these children. And right now, the younger one, whoever is the younger one, they're letting them do whatever they want to do. And the reed is saying, <laughs> if they don't correct the behavior of the mother and the behavior can't be corrected of this karmic mom, that your person may end up a single parent. Your person does not want to come trouble you. They figure they've given you enough trouble for whoever I'm reading for in this read. You take it as it resonates to you. It's not going to be everybody's read. But this person has genuinely got a, a conscience. This is someone with a conscience. I can't believe we're getting this reading, be honest with you. But this person actually has a conscience and their conscience isn't liking what they're seeing. They feel guilty. They feel ashamed. They feel embarrassed. Well, this karmic now figures they got this masculine in the bag. So now they're turning nasty, mean, arrogant, rude, saying spiteful, meanful, vengeful things. And this is the prize you brought home? You're going to send your own child away? Oh, that's pretty cold. So that should tell you on this particular karmic relationship, it's not going to be everyone's. On this particular one, this karmic wants rid of the kids because they want to party, they want to drink, they want to carry on, they want to socialize. They, they don't want the responsibility of the children. That's sad. Well, they're getting a dose of their own medicine is what they're getting. That's what Spirit's saying. Like, I really don't feel sorry for this person. I feel sorry if there's a child involved, but I don't feel sorry for your person. Like, they walked into this. They did you dirty, and they were playing mind games with you. And they were going behind your back. And now all these people are talking about who they're with. Talking all this gossip. Like, why would they be... Why... Would they choose that person? Why did they choose that person? That person doesn't even care about their own child. How are they going to care about this person? Like before, everybody thought that this person was all loving, good mom, whatever. No, they're not. No, they are not. And they're pretty cold to one another. So 
<laughs> that's a 50 50 chance of how this karmic child is going to, and they are a karmic child. They're a holy child. So raised the right way, they could have a very good life. If this karmic don't straighten their act out, this child is going to be the worst child. Not funny how you hold have that amount of power that you hold somebody's an innocent's life in your balance. Due to your own selfishness. And it is selfish. Who does that? You have two siblings. You send one away to live with somebody else and you, you have this one? And then you you dump the responsibility of that one off to somebody else. So they can what? Look good on social media? Or look good to, you know. I don't like it. But spirit saying your person is getting a dose of their own medicine. Take care.